what's up youtube here i can announce gonna bring another battle this battle is going to be from the uh, tournament from satanic uh the battle is going to be against chival or chival that's his name uh his uh name on the game is different that's aluna as you can see he he has primary two has absolute uh, i forgot the name of the pokemon electro Sil valley and the other uh Jellison is yes, that's the name that I forgot. So with that for the ado, we just gonna start the battle and uh, he will go for the primate and I uh, will go for my own primate too. So he actually is gonna outspeed my Pokemon and my Pokemon doesn't have the choice scarf, the choice band. So I was like maybe I'm able to resist the attack. Uh, I don't think so, but first combat gets to kill my Pokemon and. Well, at least I know that he is a choice card. So since I know that, I will send my spirit arm. And I don't know what kind of Silvalli he has in there yet. So he's gonna make a switch. On the switch, he will send Jellicent. And I go for my coal mine, raising my special attack and my special defense. So I'm gonna be plus one. And I'm just gonna attack this Pokemon because he might have turn yet. And he actually has turn. So. It was a kind of good prediction for me because I went for the Dark Pulse, that's for effective. It's not enough to KO, but I have a full HP. If he goes to the Recover, the uh, the Dark Pulse will do really good damage. And he actually goes for the Willow Wisp. And uh, it does some good damage against my Pokemon. I mean, every turn, but it's not gonna be enough to KO my Pokemon because I am not a physical attacker, I'm more uh, a, special, a special attacker. And, um, and I got to kill the Pokemon with the Dark Pulse. Now he's gonna, he's gonna send Silvalli. I didn't know what kind of Silvalli he was and he went for the Sword Dance. So now he's gonna be plus two in attack and I went for the Dark Pulse. And it happens to be that it's not very effective so that means his Pokemon might be the fairy type. So I was like, okay, I am pretty much stuck in there because now he's gonna go for the multi-attack and that is super effective. It will KO my spirit jump with just one attack. Now I will use my dual ocean and I know that I can resist his attack. But he's gonna go for the U-turn. And I'm able to resist the attack with 8 HP. Really with nothing. On the switch, he will go for the Absol. So now I'm gonna be faster. I was like predicting that he was gonna go for the sucker punch. Uh I would switch with another another Pokemon, but I'd rather stay with my I stay with my Dual Ocean. It was a good co hit. It didn't matter though. It mattered though. He had the uh, Life Orb, and now with my little Rantis, he's gonna go for the Sucker Punch, and that actually does a really good damage. I go for the Super Power, and that's gonna be enough to KO the Absol. Now I'm gonna be plus one in attack, plus one in defense. He's, uh, he's gonna faint and now he will send the Electros. And I go for the superpower again. And now it's not gonna be enough to KO the Pokemon. He goes for the flamethrower. Super effective against my Pokemon and that will KO my Lurantis with just one attack. Uh, you know why I didn't go for the my other attack. He's gonna go for Giga Green, that's a lot of damage against my Pokemon uh, with my Raichu. And I'm gonna use my Z move, Z Celebrate against that Pokemon. I know that this turn, turn, the Trick Room is not gonna be there anymore. So I'm gonna raise the stats of my, all my... I mean, the, I'm gonna raise all my stats, plus one. I go for the Psychic. Uh, neutral damage and I'm able to kill this Pokemon. Now he's gonna send uh, the Primate and I will go for the Psychic that is super effective and that KOs this Pokemon. Well now he will send Meta which I was expecting to his Meta do like kind of like minimal damage so I can kill this Pokemon, but I, I don't know, he has, most likely that he has Butter, butter Punch, to be honest. He goes for the Earthquake, and that will kill my Raichu, even though 
If he had the bullet points, I don't think it doesn't matter though if it was maximum damage. So now I'm gonna send my last Pokemon. Yes, that's my last Pokemon throw. He's gonna go for the Zen Headbutt. Super effective. It does some good damage against my Pokemon. I go for the Bull Cup. And now, uh, well, raising my attack and my defense plus one. He's gonna go for Zen Headbutt one more time. And I believe I went for the uh, Bull Cup one more time. Okay, so now, uh, now I will go. I'm gonna go for the rest and he go for the same headbutt. It doesn't kill my Pokemon. I resist the attack. And I didn't go for another ball cap because I didn't want to get greedy because sometimes, you know, it, it happens to happens to happen a critical hit and that will, it actually will fuck you up right away. And okay, he go for the same headbutt one more time. I'm full HP. And damage didn't di didn't do enough. So now with the my meta here, okay. So I take his item away, the evil light, and the last Pokemon that he has left, it is the Seal Valley, and he goes for the Sword Dance. If I do maximum max damage, both attack, and he does normal and minimal damage, I may I will be able to kill this Pokemon. And well, I did one. It wasn't enough to kill this Pokemon. He goes for the multi attack. That actually does some really good damage against my Pokemon. And I go for a Storm Throw. It won't be enough to kill that Pokemon. And now he will go for the multi attack. And that's gonna be the battle against Kiba. It was a really close battle, to be honest. And well, I lost the battle. I will lose the final battle, the final round. And I, I kind of like it. Though. I like it. So this is gonna be all, see you next time, later and bye.